Longtime and beloved TV host Regis Philbin had lived in Greenwich, Connecticut with his wife Joy until shortly before he passed away in 2020. The couple sold the stunning mansion, which they called their favorite home, for just over $4 million to move closer to their kids in California. Before living in this home for over a decade, Regis owned another home in Greenwich and formerly a New York City apartment, which he showed Architectural Digest in the early 2000s. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. At age 88, Regis Philbin had one of the longest and most successful careers as a game and talk show host. He started his career as an announcer on The Tonight Show and from there worked tirelessly across the USA as America's favorite host until he retired from Live with Regis and Kelly in 2011. While he passed away from a heart attack in 2020, Regis had led quite the life, amassing a net worth of $150 million in the process. When he wasn't working, Regis resided mainly on the East Coast in the Connecticut mansion he and his wife adored. When the couple put the estate up for sale to relocate closer to their kids, Joy said about it, We've moved around a lot and lived in many houses together, but this house will always be our favorite. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today on Famous Entertainment, we're taking an exclusive look at the one-time homes of Regis Philbin. Don't forget to show some support and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. First up, let's take a look at where Regis and Joy once lived in the heart of New York City when he was still filming for Live. In 2001, he invited Architectural Digest into his Skyrise apartment, which was decorated in a contemporary style. At the time, Regis said, All my life I wanted that special apartment up in the clouds with a terrific view of the city. This place exceeded even my wildest dreams. Regis and Joy once were Park Avenue residents who'd never lived in New York City's Upper West Side. However, moving here from the Upper East Side was ideal for the live host at the time as he could then finally walk to work. Joy was a fan of the ritzy Upper East Side, so it took a while to convince her, but once Regis did, the pair nabbed a sprawling unit up on a 51st floor with amazing views. The Philbins combined two neighboring apartments here to create one sprawling open space. They kept the decor mainly white, modern, and minimal. In terms of the layout, they left one living room intact and turned the one from the second apartment into their sprawling master suite, while the second bed and bath was transformed into a kitchen and family room. Walking in, the entry hall boasted towering columns and arches with high ceilings, leading into the common living areas. Then you could see the glamorous dining room just past this. The living and dining areas of Regis's former apartment all offered amazing views of the Hudson River, as well as the George Washington Bridge through floor-to-ceiling windows, while the nearby kitchen was decked out in cherry wood cabinets. The couple's master suite was tucked in a corner of the unit with walls of glass surrounding it for panoramic views. It offered luxe furnishings like an armoire, four-poster bed, and more. Regis had his own office made up of darker and more classic tones, including a large mahogany desk. Despite living here for some years, the couple would eventually move back to Connecticut and get some property. Before we look at his favorite home, in 2011, Regis listed another Connecticut mansion he was living in for $3.8 million. Also located in Greenwich, the couple purchased this abode way back in 1992 for $2.5 million and still owned that Upper West Side penthouse while maintaining this one. The French colonial style estate covered over six acres of land at the end of a private private and quiet road, while interiors measured over 5,900 square feet of space with four beds, five full baths, three half baths, and five fireplaces throughout. This abode was also featured in Architectural Digest, and the article explained it was built in 1979, while Regis was interested in the property partly because of the tennis court. The front door was inviting, set into the brick exterior, and opened up to the foyer with fancy parquet wood floors, double height ceilings, and a curved staircase with a gallery. The common spaces included a formal living room with marble fireplace and other opulent furnishings 
furnishings, a dining room, and cozier spaces like a library study. There were two family rooms, both with fireplaces and one with a wet bar, while the other had a built-in entertainment unit with TV. In the Architectural Digest feature, we got a glimpse of the Philbin's stunning covered porch, which acted as their summer living room and was accented with plenty of plants. The Eden kitchen here had a center island with snack bar, chestnut toned cabinets, and French doors out to that sunny porch. Oregis's one time master suite was located on the second floor and had another fireplace along with his and hers baths. On the grounds, there were plenty of rolling lawns and shady tall trees, along with a gazebo, a swimming pool, and that tennis court which Regis loved so much. Without further ado, let's check out Regis's favorite and longtime Connecticut residence. Located in Greenwich, just 40 minutes from Manhattan, New York, the property featured a resort style feel on over 2.5 acres of grounds. The mansion itself was built in 1997, and not only is there a main house, there's also a guest house with an English manor inspired style in the build. The private grounds of Regis's home also had a circular drive leading to the grand front door, while inside, within the massive 13,661 square feet of space, there were luxury amenities like a wood paneled study, a pub, theater, and much more. Reportedly, the home sold for just above $4 million recently, but it actually works out to a big chunk of change less than Regis and Joy paid for the home over a decade ago. Either way, the lucky new owners can enjoy a classic and elegant mansion with six bedrooms and nine full baths throughout. Regis's family manor featured a large two-story foyer with chandelier, curved staircase, and marble floors underfoot, which then continued into the public rooms. The great room or main living area had double height ceilings with windows all over, as well as one of the mansion's seven stunning fireplaces, this one made of stone. Nearby rooms included a dining room with space to entertain large groups, and of course, the chef's kitchen, boasting two islands as well as a breakfast nook. The library or study was decked out in mahogany with yet another fireplace, and the feel of this room suited Regis's traditional mansion perfectly. While all of the usual rooms were impressive, the Grand Estate also had a pub room, which Regis and Joy decorated with memorabilia, as well as a games room, home movie theater, wine cellar, gym, and sauna. Moving towards the grounds, the mansion's floor plan also had a sunroom, which was perfect to unwind. There were plenty of terraces, both covered and open, attached to the home and out in the yard, including landscaped walkways leading from the pool area. The pool is something from a five-star hotel with the opulent fountain and sun loungers surrounding it, while the gardens out back will also lead you to the tennis court or the guest house. The guest quarters boasted one bed, a kitchen, bath, and a loft. Regis and Joy decided to put their beloved mansion on the market before his unexpected passing with hopes to move to California and to be closer to their kids. According to the LA Times, the couple already had a Beverly Hills condo waiting for them worth $2.5 million to relocate to, which they bought into 2016. Despite that, this gated Greenwich estate was always Regis's fave. His wife, Joy, explained, We celebrated many birthdays and holidays and never had to worry about inviting too many of our family and friends. There was always room for everyone. All right, now we've looked at the homes of beloved TV and game show host Regis Philbin. During his long life and successful career, he and his family have enjoyed many beautiful homes, most of which were located on the East Coast. Out of the three places we saw, which was your fave? I love the ones in Connecticut most, especially his personal favorite. I just love a traditional and classic mansion with picture-perfect ground. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. I'll see you all next time. Bye.